Ernest Hemingway once said, If you are lucky enough to have lived in Paris as a young man, then wherever you go for the rest of your life, it stays with you. For Paris is a movable feast. Paris is one of the most romantic cities in the world and a huge attraction for reading addicts. From the booksellers on the Seine to Shakespeare and Company, which is possibly the most famous bookshop in the world. Today, we're looking beyond Paris's literary merits to its famous streets and the best known novels they're featured in. From contemporary literature to classics, here are 10 books that will make you fall in love with Paris. The Hunchback of Notre Dame by Victor Hugo. The Hunchback is probably the best-known work set in Paris and has been adapted for film and stage many times. Hugo was inspired by his love for the crumbling Notre Dame de Paris and wanted the French people to fall in love with it again before it crumbled from neglect, and so was inspired to write this beautiful gothic tale that spans the ages. The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna with courage, grace, and powerful insight, best-selling author Kristen Hanna captures the epic panorama of World War II and illuminates an intimate part of history seldom seen. The Women's War The Nightingale tells the stories of two sisters, separated by years and experience, by ideals, passion, and circumstance, each embarking on her own dangerous path toward survival love, and freedom in German-occupied, war-torn France. A heartbreakingly beautiful novel that celebrates the resilience of the human spirit and the durability of women. It is a novel for everyone, a novel for a lifetime. A Movable Feast by Ernest Hemingway Hemingway lived in Paris during the 1920s as a young man. This story, published posthumously in 1964, is his memoir of Paris in the 1920s. A movable feast captures the exuberant mood of Paris after World War I and the unbridled creativity and unquenchable enthusiasm the city creates. The Little Paris Bookshop by Nina George Monsieur Perdu calls himself a literary apothecary. From his floating bookstore in a barge on the Seine, he prescribes novels for the hardships of life. The Little Paris Bookshop is a love letter to books and Paris, meant for everyone who believes in the power of stories to shape people's lives. Paris Peasant by Louis Argon. Published in the late 1920s, The Paris Peasant is one of the central works of surrealism and uses the city of Paris as a stage or framework. Ergon interweaves his text with images of related ephemera, cafe menus, maps, inscriptions on monuments and newspaper clippings, a detailed description of a Parisian arcade and another of the Butte Chamon Park are among the great set pieces within Argon's swirling pose of philosophy, dream, and satire. Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin Set in the 1950s Paris of American expatriates, liaisons, and violence, a young man finds himself caught between desire and conventional morality. With a sharp, probing imagination, James Baldwin's now classic narrative delves into the mystery of loving and creates a moving, highly controversial story of death and passion that reveals the unspoken complexities of the human heart all set to the backdrop of one of the most romantic cities in the world. Chari by Colette Colette is one of the best-known French authors of all time, and in Chari, she tells a tale as old as Paris itself, a love affair between a young man and a charming older woman. Chari tenderly depicts the devotion that stems from desire and is an honest account of the most human preoccupations of youth and middle age. The Elegance of a Hedgehog by Muriel Barberi An international bestseller that has sold more than 10 million copies worldwide, The Elegance of a Hedgehog is as atmospheric as Paris itself and exalts the quiet victories of the inconspicuous among us. The Tropic of Cancer by Henry Miller 
Paris is long considered one of the sexiest cities in the world, and the topic of cancer has been described as notorious for its candid sexuality and is responsible for the free speech that we now take for granted in literature. It was first published in 1934 by the Obelisk Press in Paris, France, but was banned in the United States. Today, it's regarded as an important work of the 20th century literature. Down and Out in Paris and London by George Orwell. This novel is part set in London, part set in Paris. In the Parisian section, our protagonist works as a dishwasher in an expensive French restaurant, and Orwell reveals the dire conditions in which those less fortunate in Paris live in. Even in the overly romanticized city of Paris can you find those living in poverty, and this book is an important reminder of that. Sadly, Down and Out in Paris and London is largely autobiographical. Thank you for watching. Please share with your friends. And if you like the video, support us by subscribing to get future videos.